Yes, we do have an agenda. We do. And the agenda is love. The agenda is hope. The agenda is peace. Because this world is crazy. Well, you know, it's a thing that you have so much pressure, right? You're like, we have to show up on a big anniversary as so many in our own personal lives do. And so you want everything to come together. You want the perfect movie. You want the perfect day, the perfect location. Um, you want everybody to respect and support one another. And then to see that it's his directorial debut on somebody that we think we know, to turn that page is really, really exciting for us to be able to host that. Do you think even with everything that's going on, have you seen that evolution with each Outfest and each film that's showcased in it? I mean, you look at, you know, how big Outfest has gotten, because it's not just a film festival. They have programming, they have scholarships, they have, you know, just on and on programming, where before, you know, it was a little film festival. Right. You know, these film festivals, they didn't have the press. Look at the press line here. It's they incredible. Didn't have press lines like this. Yeah. This was, you know, I started off in the gay press. It would be me sitting on a, I wouldn't even be a red carpet, you know? <laughs> exactly. Why do you think it's so important to have this presence and to be here and speak out and create awareness? A hundred percent. So as our beautiful nation continues to challenge the importance of LGBTQ rights and women's rights, um, it couldn't be more important, right? Um, so when we show up, look at this amazing crowd, everyone bringing the energy, we're saying not on our watch, right? Not on our watch are we going to allow all the progress that we've made to go backwards. Um, in fact, it's gonna go forward in a big, huge way. And so I'm thrilled to support um, my dear friend who is a board member of Outfest, Giselle Phelps, um, is so excited about this event and I'm just so excited to support the community. Oh no, this is great, this is fantastic. Who would have thought when I started this 40 years ago with a group of people that it would become this? It's, a, it's an amazing thing. It's absolute, an amazing thing. An absolute blessing. I mean, we know what's going on in this country and we have to do this and more. And we have to have a bigger presence. We have to have a bigger voice. We have to, we have, to have as much impact as we can. Over 20 years ago, I made the decision to choose myself and to work at filling the void of the lack of representation that I saw in the market. Um, there was a silencing of us um, that needed to go away. And I've worked very hard to be here and I'm really overwhelmed, humbled. And the one thing that I've really latched on to in the past couple of months is really trying to speak joy, to speak life, to speak the positive. You know, our 24 hour news cycles have gotten us into this, if it bleeds, it leads rut. And it's all negative and it's all negative all the time. But what we're not talking about is the reason for the pushback. The reason the pushback is so severe in this moment is because the progress and the change has already happened. It's already happened. Let's talk about that. Let's lean into that. And then we get, that's our oxygen. So that we can put our oxygen masks on, understand that, oh, right, we're already here. And then we can go back and fight. There's so much stigma about dating a trans person for people and their ignorance and yeah. your characters jumping in. Yeah. And we see a whole, I don't think, a, I can't really recall right now any character that has ever been that open and that yeah, receptive, yeah. just open to love. Yeah. Do you think this is gonna create an impact? I think it will, you know, you know, a beautiful thing that the movie really cements and shouldn't even need to cement, but it does that, you know, trans girls are girls and trans women are women and that end of discussion. I don't think, you know, there's really nothing past that. Um, but what is really beautiful about the movie is you have these characters that start with that like soft, simple impulse of love, which is, you know, a very beautiful thing and allow it to exist and follow it unapologetically and follow it without fear you know, which I pray that all of us in the world push ourselves to let ourselves do it. Something that we were just talking about is, you know, the stigma that you're tapping on and you're dealing on at a level that is a conversation, you know, for like a coming of age story. What What is your final objective on telling the story? I think like telling the story, I want to communicate that that is not a, a fantasy or a fiction. Like this is happening. Like I was also inspired by, you know, like seeing the world around me, like, 
every day trans girls are becoming kind of more more visible, like more normalized, like how you know, like it's just we exist and we're beautiful and we're gorgeous, you know, and people are gonna fall in love with us. And I think just like representing that in a way that that normalizes this, like I want the the message to be for trans girls that I think we we sometimes forget that that we have the capacity to to be loved and to be appreciated for for who we are completely um, and profoundly. I think that that's the message I want to, to to tell. What do you ladies expect people to take from this? I want everyone to walk away with a really profound sense of joy. I want everyone to understand that love doesn't have to be as complicated as people try to make it out to, to be, you know? Like if you, you know, like if you find someone to be attractive, um, you know, you gotta just live your life, right? And that's, and, you know, and like that's something that I learned through playing Kelsa, you know, I, you know, I like learned to just be more fearless, to be more loving. And hopefully we all can walk away with that. You said you being, you know, a, a woman of color and then having the protagonist be a woman of color and then the writer is Latina. Um, you know, and the list keeps on going. You have all different kind, kinds of perspectives and voices that are constantly undermined. Do you feel that responsibility? Absolutely, yes. I mean, that's the one of the reasons I became an artist is to, like I said, make the revolution irresistible. Um, I think if you are not causing chaos, if you're not stirring up the dust um, as an artist, then you're not doing anything right. So I think that's, that's what this film is doing.